Well, welcome to the channel viewers, Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. We had a dysfunctional Victorian Premier, um, Jacinta Allen from Australia, has assigned a Minister for Men's Behaviour Change, and I think we need to have a look at how that works. On November 17, 2023, officers were called when there was an alleged dispute between a foster mother and the children she was taking care of. Now, this is an uncommon. A lot of these foster mothers take on children that aren't their own because they get benefits. A lot of it's no, not so much about the give, take, care and share, but as to the benefits. And with this motive in mind, it undermines the integrity of the relationship. A lot of these children pick up on this and then, guess what? They rebel. Hey, open up now! Open up! Okay, so you've got what seems to be somebody that's erratic they're saying open up and the person saying there's nobody here well there might not be anybody uh in where they're supposed to be in the mind by the sound of that who has the knife i'm sorry kick the door down open up open up now adam Paul, can you give this complaint a call back and maybe have a step out open up I'm about ready to if you don't come out. Hey, this is my night. Hey. Let me see it. Hey. Open the door. I'm about. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door, Alcom. Hey. No, don't shut the door. Do not touch my door. Do not touch my door. Okay, so this woman's immediately violent. And this is somebody that's looking after children would you believe it um, not real good and these people are doing it for the benefits that they get out of it you better believe it now you'll see this a lot you'll see them saying to the police that they have no right they're having themselves on viewers Okay, so she's physically handled one of the police officers, so she's immediately in trouble. There's no knife! This is my house! This is my house! You have no right! You have no right! Okay, let's talk. No, 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 no! I understand. Let's talk. 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 let us probably got here viewers as immigrants and their con culture is completely different completely under uh, particularly under stress you'll find that these people characteristically deal with things differently to what the western world people do now let me just ask you does that seem rational like rational behavior to you Now, what you've got to understand is these people believe that what the way they're, in which they're behaving is okay, but they're self-unaware so relative to the way in which the Western world lives. Come over here. Come on, She's got no clue that her behaviour's got her into trouble, and this is what they do. Okay, so as the police officer said, you're a liar. Let me go. Please let me go. Please let me go. We're going back in my car, B. We're going to figure out what's going on. No, wait a minute. We got called by the knife, and the next thing you know, you shut the door on my face. 
Okay, so this woman's hyper hysterical. Um, what's driving it? We don't know enough about it, but it's definitely not normal civilized behavior. Okay, go. Let me go, please. What did you find? There's no knife. What when I walked out, there was an argument, and the next thing I you were saying, there's no, no argument. Right, I, the argument was between side. me and you. No, you I heard it coming up. Are you serious? And I knocked on the door. Are you serious? Yes. So we're between gonna, me you're gonna stop yelling at me? Why are you doing this? And then you said, Why I'm putting up the knife. So no. we're this woman is not rational at all. I never yeah, you said did. I'm putting out the knife. I said there's no knife. Why is you doing I'm, this? I use the back of my hand. Stop touching me. All right. Stop touching right. me. Go in, Stop touching me. Hey. Stop touching me. No, I'm not out here. Stop touching Man, me. Why is you doing this? We're not no. in the car. No. Get in the car. No. Get in the car. No. Why is you doing this? Why is you doing this? No. Why is you doing this? They're completely, absolutely self unaware, and this is the problem, viewers. So, okay. yeah, we're good. I open, I knock on the door, they opened up, and then they shut the door really quick. They don't know where the knife's at, so I kicked the door and broke it. But then she was screaming that I'm putting the knife up. Okay, so she huh? was caught with a knife in her hand. Yeah, come. If you, once you start relaxing, we'll talk. We will talk. Come here. When somebody goes hyper-hysterical like this, particularly if it's drug-fueled, it's a very dangerous situation and volatile situation because these people become, um, uh, they find extra strength. They find, uh, they become combative and with that adrenaline and everything else that's going on, they do become stronger than what they normally are. And it's dangerous. Stay with her. Try to run her if you can. All right, ma'am. What I'm did a, I do? You didn't. Just, Why are you detaining uh, me? I'm detaining you because I got called that someone had a knife. Nobody had I, a listen, knife. Listen, well, I figured out your kids had a knife to protect themselves. Oh, my kids? Yes, listen. Now, you need to stop talking over me before I get upset. Please just let me out. All right. What's I'm happening right now nothing. is I'm getting all your kids' information because I way it sounded like you guys were arguing downstairs and stuff got physical, no, but I don't see anything. nothing got physical. What happened is my kids, those aren't even my kids. They're right. foster kids. I'm staying. They're staying for a time. They're well, foster parents. Well, you're still guardian over them, right? Like, no, they're coming to get them. You're still guardian Just over them, no matter what, until they're transferred. I'm hot. I'm hot. I understand. Me out. Well, you're, you're I'm yelling. Hot. I okay, so what they'll do, they'll make up any excuse and any story um, to find justification for the um, negligence and benevolence and uh, other abuses that they participate in. No, you don't. I, you don't make the demands, what all right? So right now you're what listening. What did I do? What so did I got I called do? here for someone what having nice. I knocked on the door what and you guys I shut do? the door on me. I didn't even know who you was. Yeah, because your kids called because they were Please. scared. No, they're not. Yeah, they were. No, That's what not. they just told me. No, so I'm gonna get your name and information. I'm writing this up. Please just let me out. You're gonna be released. What? Oh, why is Will's? this happening? Because we got called here. They're not scared. This your kids had a knife because they were scared. This is a lie. I don't care yes. whose children they are. You they had a knife. Protect my children. Okay. My now you're going to listen to us. Okay, you're lying. No, we're not. No. We're not. Lying. Okay. So when they start lying, they blame everybody else as lies. Lying. Yeah. 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 You're a child right now. You need to get this officer you know your information. Yeah. Okay. Because he came through Bradley. He came through all these things. He gave him a false name. This is not my child. I just called him here because I was trying to let him hang out with my nephew. I swear to God. Okay, we'll go get your phone. Right? This is serious. Please. This is serious. Her son makes false calls. He makes false calls. He called y'all from kid. Bradley. Yes. Like he he called y'all from Bradley. All, he did all, all this. All the kids okay, so she's blame shifting to the children. They will do this in their desperation. Yes, no, it's not about fighting. And Will, I told him he had to go. It's not about fighting. Well, Will, me and that. Will are not under fighting. The point is, is I told them to go in the room. When I told them to go in the room, Kay felt like he was. Well, they all he said was restricted. No, I did tell them to well, go. They in all the said room. you were yelling and banging without having to. And yeah, they did. And I told him to get his stuff and no, go. I told them to go in the room. No, I never was. I never was. You know what? Before all the case was said and done, a few hours ago, I had something to drink. I haven't had anything to drink in the last two hours. Okay, so she might be intoxicated. That could be part of her hysteria. Terry, Terry is the one. Right. She's the All babysitter. She's Kate's. I am the foster mom to two of them. Well, I know, but Kate is the you're other in no one. Condition to watch children by Are yourself. you kidding me? No, no, no. no. Okay, that's fine. Terry can come. Terry is the one who is. She told me to have her son. I would have never 
look at this. He's the one who called the cops on y'all. That's what y'all don't understand. He called y'all falsely. When he called y'all and Bradley, he came off of school and called y'all. This is on record. This is on record. This is on record. The thing is, is why do you slam the door on the I didn't know who they was. I didn't. She knew who the police were, but this is what conscience does. It makes, when you've got a guilty conscience, you make irrational decisions, wrong decisions that get you into deeper trouble. I know who they were. My doors are not being locked. I literally said, George. Children. Children. Is this a joke? No. Terry, this Terry, is Officer Jackson from Peoria Police I'm Department. Oh, all the time. Are you talking about me? I got hold of Terry, like you said. She's coming down to get all the kids. Okay. Well, what is going on? Why am I being detained? I have not done nothing. Obstructing. She obstructing. She was like, I've never obstructed. I didn't know who you were. She Why did you see me spit? Are you kidding? That's right. I don't want you to hide your little in, okay? What's happening? Because your officer will leave me to tell you. These situations escalate, and now you can see this woman's coming down a little bit from her hysteria. Now, what they'll do is play the victim to try and get some kind of um, leniency. Okay, so she's coming out of the. Um, What's it called when you breathe too much? I, I, hyperventilation. Yeah, she's coming out of hyperventilation. Be present for your nose, out of your mouth. I don't want you to hyperventilate, Please, okay? Get this off me. I can't. Well, the hysteria. I think she's partly hyperventilated. I'm not resting. I just can't breathe. Please. Yeah, no. This I can't. Is, no, this is not me. Fault. I didn't put this on. It's not my fault. You just put it on. I can't breathe. You understand that I can't breathe? Sorry, honey. You're all right. <laughs> That's probably why See, people don't like to have to take accountability when they don't need to and it's very very sad that they get into these situations but they do okay so now they'll go back into rebellion because they didn't get their way They'll become uncooperative and combative. That's the officer that did that to me. No! Please, stop that to me! Stop that to me! Stop that to me! Now, could you imagine trying to have a relationship with a lady like this? No! Stop that to me! Stop that to me! Stop that to me! Stop that to me! I want you to stop that to me! You the officer, you illegally you, detain me! Do you want me to walk you? So they become very uncooperative. Stop that to me! Please, please! Stop that to me! Stop that to me! Stop that to me! Stop that to me! Minister for Female Behaviour Change, Mr. Jacinta Allen. There's a lot going on in the female demographics as well. You don't control the situation. You don't control the situation. <laughs> I'm going to undo So we're going to Methodist. Yep. Are we going to the hospital? Why don't we just let me say, viewers, this all comes at taxpayers' expense. She might be, uh, she's very entitled. I did not know you were coming to my door. You illegally obtained me. No, no, I can't breathe. No, I can't breathe. Okay. That's the problem. Okay, there we go. I know I'm talking, That's a good but I'm start. upset. Because I don't this... want to be rude or anything, but this woman's showing signs of um, 
very dysfunctional behaviour and she could be de even so far as demonised. <laughs> Okay. So she's trying to say she's in danger, but she's not. isn't it? The way they get themselves. Thank you. So viewers, this isn't a one-off situation. These people are all right throughout our communities. Um, she was charged with battery on a police officer and all this other stuff by the look of it. Um, these people, they hide in their caves and it's when they come out that they get exposed. And we need to be aware that these people are in our communities and just try and report them. Report them if you have to. I'm Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Bye for now.